And what's going on? Fontaine here, VIP SoundLab.com. And we're back on the Native Instruments Machine MK3 with the 2.7.3 update. In the last video, we did uh, the loop mode recording uh, some vocal chops. Uh, we were getting some emails in regards to um, how can you record from your, your external gear and how to sync it up. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, hopefully in the future, Native Instruments will give us the ability to uh, warp tracks, edit the audio, things of that nature. Um, I, were getting, I was getting like some complaints. Some people were saying it's kind of hard to um, edit the audio and stuff like that. It's because, you know, you can't do it yet. Uh, you can't normalize and things like that. So I'm going to show you how to get things rolling like really, really quick. All right, so under recording, under your mode, you want to set it to loop. And I'm going to um, set this for two bars because I want it to sync up. And I'm going to uh, just press record and play using the metronome to help count me in. And I'm going to use the Kai MPC Live because there are some tracks that's already set up in here just to make you know this video quicker so I can hurry up and roll it out for you guys. So I'm going to do that and we're going to select some tracks one by one and just keep building up. So basically it's a workflow where you're just going to um, record a track you know, from an iPad, iPhone, whatever it is that you're using, synth, whatever, and then you're just going to keep it moving down the road. Just record and keep moving and record, keep moving and record, keep moving. It's basically going like that. Yeah, man. So there you have it. You know, then if you wanted to, you know, go to your mute groups and mute certain things out.
yeah, man. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell, man. I can't think of an easy way to explain it. You know, you're just basically recording tracks and just keeping your joints moving, you know. And you don't have to take these takes. Like, if you mess up in the beginning of a take, you can just, you know, X off these, like, little um takes and go back in and just re-record that take. So, uh, yeah, man. Hopefully, in the future, Native Instruments will give us the ability to edit some of these audio tracks, normalize. I would like to see that, you know, instead of, you know, probably having to come in here, you know, I would suggest maybe, you know, if it's too low, maybe add a maximizer, maybe. Uh, let's let's try that and see what happens. Yeah, so I'm just gonna hold it up right there. This boy Fontaine, VIP SoundLab.com. Uh, make sure to come by and check out our uh NPC Live tutorial videos that we're launching as well. We're gonna be a resource for uh free NPC Live tutorial videos as well, man. So yeah, that's the loop mode. You know what man? It it it. I'm not even gonna worry about. It. You know, it it basically you're just gonna take the outputs and run them into the inputs into a uh, machine in case someone's confused how to get the audio in. You're gonna have to you know be on your sampling screen and just make sure that you got the recording mode set to loop in your lengths but in this particular situation i'm using a different setup if you want to use my my way this is another way how i'm doing it right now i'm just using my focus right sound card and the focus right sound card is not it's not even like all that you know what i'm saying i just use it basically for my mic for tutorial videos but um in case somebody's wondering i'll show you right now what i'm using is um the inputs three and four on the scarlet right here i'm not i'm not even using the mk3 inputs but it does have inputs you know if you want to adjust the recording gain and all that good stuff so um yeah man that's pretty much it if you have any questions or concerns hit me up it's your boy fontaine vip soundlap.com and i will see you guys on the next one peace